Hey, welcome back to Fade the Mahoney. Uh, now that the season, the MLW season is done, uh, mostly just going to be some real short uh, pick shows, at least for the time being. Uh, we're going to do our normal NFL stuff here. Uh, Trevor was the only winner last week, Edonk. Do you know that? Big sweep for Trevor. Digging out of that hole. Trevor, you had the Chargers plus six and a half. I think you're up to four and seven. Uh, whatever my pick was awful. I had the Texans. They lost by a million. I fall to four and seven. Edonk's red hot streak law ended last week with the Giants. They got killed. He drops to six, four and one. And Lucas obviously lost. He had the Chiefs. He's down. Good, to thing. good thing I put my actual real hard earned money on the Lions, so. though. Hmm. That's good. Fade yourself. That's what the smart people do. All right. Um, Don't be afraid. Uh, Trevor, are you ready or do you need me to go first? I need you guys to go first. And also, I believe since I'm so bad at this, I should just be able to take the opposite of Lucas's lock of the week every week. Hmm. No, that's cheating. Yes. We, we don't allow cheating. Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to just start off with the Falcons plus four and a half. Got to take ugly teams. They're getting four and a half at Washington. The commies have made me some money recently, uh, but that's too many points. Trevor, you got to go second. Edonk's got a winning record, so he goes last for a while. That seems ridiculous. Uh, just pick one of these teams on the screen. I don't care which one. Pick any of them. Pick one team that you see. Oh, First one that comes to mind. This is cheating. Cardinals. Okay, we're going to take the Arizona Cardinals getting four and a half. Wow, and they're playing against who, the Chargers? Yes. See, that's what good betters do, Trevor. You ride a team one week, but the next week you got to know when to get off them. And that's what you're doing, obviously, with all your studying. All right. So you're on the Cardinals. Edonk, six, four, and one, winning record. What do you got? Give me the Eagles. I think uh, the Packers are awful. Uh, I hate Aaron Rodgers as a human being. Uh, Eagles. Okay. That's good handicapping right there. Eagles minus seven. What is that? Sunday night game? Pretty cool Sunday night game. If there's any chance that uh, like one of like the defensive players from from the Eagles is watching, uh, I'll happily pay uh, fifteen hundred to break his fibula. Bounty bounty talk. We haven't had that before. All right, uh, two things real quick to wrap up. We need the Lucas lock of the week. He is currently three and eight, which is twenty seven percent. Lucas got. Super, super horned when he was talking about this. He, he was so excited to come up to me. And he goes, he goes, he goes, you know, you know, you know, I, I got one for you. I got one. I got one. And he's taking. It's got to be the Cowboys. It's got to be. Believe it or not, he's taking tomorrow. He's taking the Minnesota Vikings at 7.20 p.m. tomorrow night. That makes me so happy. I actually have a real live bet on the Patriots already. Wow. I can cash that one early. All right. So he's going with the Vikings. All right, uh, Edonk, do you have a dad joke of the week to send us out? Yes, yes, yes. I Let do. it rip. All right, we are back with another Ride the Jorgie segment, and I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself. That's second straight loss. You know, this is supposed to be a little segment where I get picks right, and last two weeks, you know, if I failed all these viewers, everyone that's been riding me. So something's got to happen here. Something's got to change. So this week I'm going to be going with the Tennessee Titans, at home, plus and a half against Cincinnati Bengals. Both are great teams. I think Mike Vrabel is a very good coach. He can win coach of the year again. I mean, he led the Titans to one seed last year. And this year, you know, they're winning games. They barely lost to the Chiefs. I just think they're a really good team. You know, they're going to establish the run as they always do. Their defense has been playing great. Um, Joe Burrow, you know, his offense line has been playing a little better. But, you know, I think that Titans defense is good. If they cause them any sort of trouble, I think that could – really go south for him and the Bengals. So I'm going to take the Titans. Hopefully this week we can get back on track. He was a her before. Wonderful. All right. Good gambling, everybody. Go say hi to uh, Lucas for me, will you? Thank him for the locks.